Welcome to Everett Animal Shelter's Pet of the Week. I'm Dee Cordell, and with me today is Amy Ferguson, who is no stranger to Pet of the Week. <laughs> Welcome, Amy. <laughs> thank you for and having thank me. Thank you for joining us again. Um, first of all, before <coughs> excuse me, before we get started talking about these adorable puppies that we're holding, I want to congratulate <laughs> ARF on their very successful Golden Paw Gala. Yes, that you held thank a you. Weeks ago. Yes, it was a lot of fun. The hypnotist that we talked about during Pet of the Week amazing and hilarious and she didn't try to get money extra money out of the audience she didn't and nobody was a chicken when she snapped her nope. fingers but there were some other interesting things that people did yes there were she gave them clues but it was really great and congratulations on such a successful event thank you um so i guess we should get to the business <laughs> at hand we have two very special guests with us today honey and Tino. Yes. Um, so give us a little information about these two. So these guys were actually born while well, they were in foster care at the shelter and they are five months old. <laughs> they're, they're, their mom was a long-haired dachshund but they're they are mixes and um, so she is four pounds and he is six and this is probably about as big as they're gonna get. They might get a little bit bigger okay but being that they're five months old they've pretty much reached their potential for growth. Okay. And I know that these puppies are very, all the dogs and puppies at this shelter are very special to all of us, but because <laughs> they've been with us pretty much yes. since they were born, and staff has been caring for them for five months, they really do have a special place in the heart of all the staff. They do. Um, and we are going to require that they get adopted together because we feel like they are a bonded pair and would be happiest um, in a home. So oh, he's totally trying to keep his eyes open. <laughs> So what would be a good home for them? So they would do best in a home where they can um, handle the puppyhood that's going on with these guys. Okay. Um, they definitely, you know, being that they're five months old and they've been in the shelter, um, they'll have to adjust to a home environment, which means that they'll need to, um, they'll need to have toys for chewing. That way they're not chewing on cords or other things. Um, they also, you know, will benefit just from the normal uh, puppy stuff, you know, like, like leash training and that kind of stuff. But um, they are trained on puppy pads so they will have to adjust to being in a home where they go outside to go potty and that kind of stuff okay so potty training will be one of the things probably top on the list of yes of what the new adopter is gonna want to deal with um, okay well they're super cute <laughs> oh he can see someone out the window <laughs> he's letting us know I do think the people that adopt them will stop watching TV and won't be on their phones very much because these two are really entertaining. That's, yes, they exactly. They are like little clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them in action and it's pretty fun. So if you're interested in Tino and Honey, um, they're at the shelter. We'll want you to submit an application and then we will call you to come in for an appointment to meet with them because they are in foster care. Good idea to check the website, everettwa.gov slash animals to see if they're still available. <laughs> Ooh, good reflexes we have. Um, also on our Facebook, we'll let you know whenever they're adopted. But we were looking for just the right home to come on in and if you think you're the right home for these two sweeties, um, to fill out an application and, and send it in. The adoption applications are available on our website. Thanks for coming in, Amy. Good seeing you again. <laughs> Thank you for having me.